Well, we do YouTube. Uh, some people uh, have pipes when they make uh, their uh, rocket stove, so sometimes you need to cut that pipe at a 45 degree angle to make an elbow. I'm going to try to demonstrate how to uh, use uh, to develop the pattern for that uh, elbow. First of all, I'm going to be using 6 inch uh, round pipe as an example. So first thing you have to do is draw, draw your elbow. Uh, I never use the end of a, I always start at one inch on a ruler. So uh, I'll mark and draw a six inch elbow. Be right back. I have drawn the elbow. I use 6 inch I have 9 inch from top to bottom here and 9 inch from this end to this end I like the 3 inch it's a personal preference when uh, you'll see you'll see why after now we need to draw a line for the 45 degree that we're going to be cutting Now, I draw this part here. We don't really need it, but I just draw it for because I like to develop a full pattern. Now, on this side, I have six inch. I need to find a middle. So that is at three inch. And also, on this line here, find your middle which is at three inch one two three right here now draw a line for that center touching that 45 degree now what we need to do is draw a circle here, a half a circle to get our reference point. You'll need a good uh, compass for that for this year because you want to be as precise as possible. It's not perfect but it's close enough so that you're able to work with it. circle. Ouch. Now you need to extend that middle line to the top of your half circle. This is our reference point that you're going to need later on. Here we are. Now we want to divide this half circle into uh, different reference point. To get the first reference point keep this measurement which is 3 inch reach the top of your half circle and draw a line down. Do the same thing on the other side. Go to the bottom of your half circle this point here and do the same thing up and on the other side too. These are going to be reference points later on. Now what you need to do, you also need to cut these reference point. Also you need half. You need to cut those in half for more. You could do with this here but 
uh, your reference point is going to go down here. These are good but not enough reference point so I prefer to make myself more reference point. What I usually do is reduce my compass to just a little bit of about half and go from one reference point draw a line here, a line on the bottom go on the other side draw a line here draw a line there and now you this is exactly half of the distance between those two reference points now just draw a line between where the two meets and this now is a new reference point. I'll do the other ones and be right back. Now I have all my reference point drawn fine. I mean that's right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one would make thirteen. We're gonna number those so that it's easier later on to find your reference point. This is the shortest this is the shortest part of the uh, elbow so I'm gonna start here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen now what we want to do is bring those reference point down to this this part of the elbow that's 45 degree so by using by using a square we bring those now try to be as precise as possible because those reference point the more precise you are with those reference point the more precise your uh, your pattern is going to be Now I am trying to be as precise as possible because like I say if you are really precise it's going to be easier and it's going to mean less welding for you later on. Now I have all my lines drawn. Now what I need to do is to bring these lines down to down to the 45 degree elbow down to this 45 degree here. So I'll bring these uh, these lines down and be right back. I have transferred all my reference point around this half circle <coughs> to the 45 degree angle that we want to we want to cut. I will transfer also those reference number so that it's easier to work with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, and 13. I just hope this comes out on video. Okay, now I made myself a square sheet here or square pattern. This is now we done the basic layout. Now we're going to develop this elbow into a pattern. I'm using six inch and I know that the circumference of six inch is eighteen and seven eight. So now that I have this here all all my reference points are there what I'm gonna do is develop the pattern and for that sorry if I move you much a lot I'm trying to find a good spot and get rid of some sunlight that's in the way here we are I don't know if it's better or worse but my tape here I never use the end of a tape I always start at one inch so from there I know it's 18 and 7 8 so I'm going to 19 and 7 8 which is a circumference of a six inch pipe measure around your pipe make sure that make sure of the circumference that you have and develop your pattern from there I'm gonna need half of the distance here which is half of the circumference so so 18 uh, 18 and 7 8 is 9 and 7 16 this is where it is now I'm going to be using the you remember that I made I made this part here three inches well I'm going to use that reference point also so I'm going to cut I'm going to make a line at three inches I know the video is a little bit wobbly but that's the because of the support that I use for my camera so I'm gonna go up three inch if you see four inch on my ruler that's because I don't use the end of the ruler I always start at one inch and mark three inch here and just gonna make myself another line here at 18 and 8 trying to make this uh, video not too long so that's why uh, sometimes I stop the video now this is the middle of my circumference we don't need that for a reference point now I need to divide this in equal distance the same as the same as these here so an easy way to do that is to take your uh, take this here and measure between uh, it could be any point but I'm going to use 2 and 3 here and just here we are so then just go from the beginning and draw a mark 
and from the next one mark it And the last one is pretty close. Now, at the three inch line, I'm going to draw here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing and then draw a reference line from when going down and I'll be right back after I draw those lines. Okay. Now I have drawn all my, line, my lines using my reference point on the, the two lines here that I made. Uh, this one and this one just by transferring each line now what we're going, we need to do is transfers transfer these number here that we have on this on this pattern so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13. Once you get to 13 in the middle, you you reverse your number. So you go 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, what we need to do is go back to the... Uh, back to the first uh, drawing that we made and what we're looking for is from this line here you don't want to measure from the circle you want that's at the three inch line that we made you want to measure from there to there this is three inch so we know that number one is at three inch which is already there now number two measure from this line to where it intersect your 45 degree which in this case would be 4 and 1 8 so I transfer this to on this line here down which is 4 and 1 8 make your first your first mark now line number 3 done the same way which is in this case 4 and 3 8 it is it's a 32 so I go by I and uh, it's 3 8 and a little bit. So I go to number 3, go down to 4 and 3 8 and a little bit strong. Now, what you want to do is go down and transfer all those numbers now what you want to do is once you transfer it to this number two go on the other side to the other number, number two and transfer the same distance transfer to number three 
the distance from this point and do the same thing on your other side and keep going number four or number five so that your patterns are the same on both sides I'll transfer all the uh, I'll transfer all the distance and I'll be right back now that I have transferred all my points my distance uh, from this pattern I got a distance one two three four five transfer all of them now they're all transferred on this pattern here what I like to do is uh, freehand my dots gives me something to follow with the scissors I'll do that and be right back okay I freehand my my line here so this is what your develop pattern should look like now all you have to do is uh, cut on this line from there to there and you should have a pattern I'll cut that and be right back so we started from an elbow like this here and ended up with a pattern like this here now if you take this bend it around you have a 45 degree cut on your pipe now I transfer this to craft paper and make myself these pattern something you can find in any hard and supply in the art and supply section of uh, any good uh, good uh, store I suppose or large surface store now I make two and this is what I end up with now if you take this pattern roll it around roll it around a pipe and just take a marker and draw around it cut it with a grinder you should get a pretty good 45 degree cut and makes you a pretty decent 90 degree now this is not perfect you will need to uh, do some filling I'm suppose I'm pretty sure you're going to have to do some filling but it's close enough that you're able to use this as a 90 degree for your rocket stove any question or comment please leave it below and I'll try to answer thank you very much for watching